What's up to all my freelancers and creatives? This is Nathan, and this episode is a little different. Um, I just wanted to take some time to talk with you all and really just be a bit transparent. Probably um, October, the last couple of weeks, I can say, is probably one of the worst months of my life. I guess you can say it all started when I went to LA. I went to Los Angeles for the first time, and I had an awesome and amazing time. I did a conference talk. Um, at Cal State University for WordCamp LAX. And the week before that, I was in Austin speaking at an event as well. So if you hadn't heard any episodes recently, it's because I've been on the road traveling and I've been speaking at different events. But I recorded all of those opportunities and I'll have them for you on the podcast, on the video. The video is actually already up, but I also include that on the podcast, the audio from both of those speaking opportunities. But, you know, I've been on the road speaking and I got back from you know, LA. And as soon as I got back, some crazy stuff happened at my day job. Now I'm not going to mention exactly what happened because that's for another video. So I had some crazy stuff on the day job and you know, the next, the next couple of days, um, you know, I had some car troubles, which was crazy. Um, uh, had an issue with my battery, my battery cable, my starter, my car got that fixed. Uh, you know, moved on down the road. Later on, I got some bad news. You know, uh, one of my good friends lost a loved one. And then I heard two of my other friends passed away. Um, and that was sad. But then moving on from there, uh, also a new issue happened with my car. My alternator went out and I was left on the side of the road for hours uh, waiting to get towed and finally get fixed. So I had to come out of pocket and pay some stuff. But, you know, uh, it's all good, I would say. And, you know, some more crazy stuff. I think I dropped my phone and, like, broke it. No, I dropped my phone tons of times and it's in an otter box. But, hey, this time it broke. And it went out of commission. And I, I was like, oh, what else What else could be, you know, what else could happen? So I'm driving um, in a rental car because my car's in the shop getting fixed for some of the things that I just mentioned. And then I'm driving and I get a ticket. Now I haven't got a ticket in a long time. And the guy said I was speeding. I wasn't speeding, uh, and if the police officer is watching this, I just say, you know, I wasn't speeding. Come on, you know. And then I get some news that uh, both of my parents needed to have like emergency surgery for different things. So I was just like, wow, there is a lot of stuff going on in my life, and um, I can definitely say uh, I'm on the other side of that, and I'm coming out of that. So you'll see more content, you'll see more things going on. But the one thing I wanted to say is more so encouraging. I'm not trying to be um, motivational. I'm not trying to be inspirational or anything like that. I'm honestly just trying to be real and transparent. And what I wanted to say is simply this. There are a lot of things that may not go your way in life. However, how you react to those things is the true determining factor on what is going to happen when all of these things pass. And the reason I'm saying that is, though I felt like it was one thing after another, at least specifically for me, um, I did feel like, you know what? Forget making any content right now. Forget some of my goals. Let me put them on pause until I have the time to come back and really give it effort because there's a lot going on right now. But honestly, you know, I kept slowly doing things and now truly I am starting to see some results and I am truly starting to see um, some of the effort that I've put in uh, come to pass. So um, the one thing I will say is uh, some time ago on this very podcast, I did a video and podcast episode on Freelance Jumpstart. It was episode 13. It's called No One Cares Yet. And that's a great episode. I recommend anybody who is uh, listening, watching to this, go back and listen to that. That is where I talked about how if you keep moving forward towards your goals, though it may not seem like anybody cares or you're not getting any results, sometimes you're just on the cusp of getting close to that. And in that episode, I talked about Rocio Mora and how she kept doing moving forward and trying to get towards her goals and her family didn't necessarily understand what she was doing, but then she started seeing a breakthrough. And she has an excellent podcast episode in which she talks about her journey on the distillery and she just talks about how she was doing things for like two years before she finally saw results, right? So sometimes this whole thing of making content 
trying to build your own agency, trying to build your own company as a creative, it takes some time. So it's not like a two month, three month thing. Sometimes when you're planning to do something, it's going to take, in my studies, it's at least 18 months, but it takes some time to really get to where you're going. So, you know, I was just reminded of that episode because I've gone back and watched that episode when I felt like I wanted to uh, quit because I didn't think I was getting results as quick as I wanted to. But I can definitely say with all the work I've done specifically on this podcast and a few others, um, you know, it's been about three years and in putting in all this work, I can definitely say I am beginning to see uh, results in the fruit of my labor, you know? So for anybody who was out there trying to get to a certain aspiration, it does take time and it may be a couple of years. So really it's just a patience game. How patient are you willing to be to see that your purpose is going to come to fruition, right? Um, it takes time. I have another friend who is a musician. His name is Toby Nwigwi. And sometimes he goes by Toby from the SWAT. You know, we're from the same area. I uh, went to school together and everything. He had been doing a, a thing where he made music on Sunday evenings. And he would just uh, make music to different uh, music and instrumentals and freestyle to it. And he had been doing that for some time. And now all of a sudden he's seen massive growth and there's a lot of people clamoring and asking for his skills, his talent and his services and people want to collaborate with him. That took him a long time to get there. Um, that wasn't an overnight thing. People say, where did he come from? That took consistency of doing something over and over for two to three years, really longer than that because he was trying to get going. But when he got consistent, he started seeing results. So again, Regardless of what roadblocks may be coming up or popping up in your life, I definitely want to recommend to anybody watching and listening, keep going forward because the moment you stop and or quit, a lot of the work that you've done and built up over time may become void. You know, you're very close to getting some results. And just another encouragement, um, you know, all the work that I've been doing over the last three years and just making and generating content and working with clients and doing all those things, uh, a couple of things happened this week. Like um, I had the opportunity to go to this awesome, intimate conference. It's actually a conference that's taking place in the Smoky Mountains of Tennessee. And um, it's put on by Dan Petty and some of the Epicureans team, he puts on a regular conference, but they're doing something a little different called Epic Unknown. I don't know a whole bunch about this. It's called Epic Unknown, and I really don't know anything. I guess that's the point. I'm just going to show up and see what they have for me. But in all honesty, you know, I was able to be invited to that event because I reached out to Dan. Dan then looked at what I had going on. He then looked at what I was doing. And he said, whoa, <laughs> you got some excellent content, some excellent stuff, man. Yeah, come on out to this event. So one of the ways I was able to get invited to this event that is going to have some of the top designers in the industry from all over the world, and we are going to spend three days with each other, just getting to know one another and learning from one another and really getting some solid connections in the community where... I've needed to get more exposure and connections with other people just to grow. And also I'm going there to help out whoever I can as well. So it's going to be mutual. But even in doing that, um, the result of making that connection happen was the fact that I never stopped making content, that I was always doing something, that I was always putting out something despite what was going on in my life. So for anybody listening that is going through a tough time in their life or a tough, rough patch in their life or, or maybe their last couple of weeks, a couple of days have not been easy for you, I would definitely say this. Don't let that pause, delay, or stop you. Keep moving towards your goal and pursuing it because you might be closer than you think to actually getting a breakthrough. And the fact that you're being met with all of these challenges and difficulties, may be evident that what you need and what you're going to try to shoot for is right around the corner. So these challenges are the last hurdle 
for you to jump over to get towards uh, where you want and where you need to be. So yeah, like I said, this wasn't a regular episode where I'm talking about content, clients, or um, anything that I got going on creative. This is honestly just some time I wanted to drop in, tell you what was going on, but also encourage you because um, you may be closer than you think. So anybody listening, watching, if you're going through a rough time, I might be able to help you in any way that I can. Feel free to reach out to me. Uh, you can email me at Nathan at NathanLote.com. Feel free to hit me up. Like I said, if I can help in any way, I'll be glad to help. But yeah, definitely check out episode 13 of the Freelance Jumpstart podcast. Um, it's something that continually encourages me today. And it's kind of weird because it's like, oh, this is my past self talking. This is like encouraging. So it's like I'm time traveling and my younger self is telling me, uh, you can do it. You know, my younger self is telling me something like that. And um, yeah, it's just encouraging to hear. So um, like I said, this is not a motivational speech by any means, but it is a way to say um, you're closer than you think to your goals. So don't let challenges allow you to give up because then all the work you put in would be void. Keep pressing, keep moving forward. If you have questions, reach out. If you need help, find people that can actually help you or in the same creative space. You might be closer than you think. And I believe with what I got going on and some things that have happened after all these challenges happened, I am very close, very close to achieving a lot of the goals I've been working towards over the last three years. So yeah, that's what I had. Thank you for taking the time just to sit, talk, listen to me. Um, you know, as always, feel free to reach out. You can find me at NathanLote.com. Reach out to me on social media. Be glad to talk. And, you know, after, you know, this uh, episode that you're listening to and watching, there's a couple of things coming up. So, yes, um, the audio from when I was in L.A. will be out, and I'll talk about that and probably have a little vlog about what happened in L.A. And then um, I went and spoke in Austin as well. So you also will see uh, the video and the audio for the talk that I gave in Austin. And I also had the privilege of being on the Bean Freelance podcast with uh, Steve Fallen. I was on that podcast, but I also invited him on my podcast so you'll also see that. And I had some live coaching opportunities with some people. Uh, but more specifically, you'll see some episodes broken down by me sharing some of what happened in those live coaching calls. And then it's back on it. Back on it with content. I got many things to talk about, many things to go through. And we'll be back on it on a week-to-week -week basis. And yeah, we'll move forward like that. So uh, that's what's coming up next. And I look forward to sharing it with all of you. But as I mentioned, I also want to hear from you as well. This is a two-way street, not a one-way. Well, until the next one, I will catch you later. See you.